everyone, it's Millie and welcome to this part 2 of a DIY Tumblr room decor video. It's not really a carry on, I've just uploaded two DIY videos in a row so I'm going to call them part 1 and part 2. This video is a collaboration with Crystal Beauty 9 or Tasmin. She is wonderful, beautiful and just an amazing person. She is one of the uh, nicest people I've met on YouTube so definitely go and check out her channel and her video, it will be linked in the description. and. Please don't forget to subscribe if you really do enjoy my videos or DIYs in general. This first DIY is a Tumblr inspired anchor art design. All you will need is a canvas, some drawing pins, both of which I got from Poundland, a rubber and a pencil. Step number one is to type in Tumblr anchors onto Google Images and scroll down until you find one that you like. After that you can just enlarge the image and copy it up onto your canvas. My drawing surprisingly came out quite successful which I was rather proud of. But once you have finished drawing out your design, grab your pack of drawing pins and begin puncturing them through the canvas like so. I am so so in love with this next DIY so I hope that you like it too because all you will need is some washi tape and if you are in the UK you can buy it from Hobbycraft. Next, find an area of your room that you might want this to be displayed on, measure out how much you will need and then stick it down. So I chose the side of my drawers, down the side of my wardrobe and also down the side of my door. The DIY plantarium I have seen displayed all over Tumblr. All you will need is some growing compost, a fish bowl, some desert plants or cacti and a spoon. I began by spooning in the compost or soil into the fish bowl until I filled it in about halfway. And as you will see in the next clip, I cracked the bowl completely because I was banging it a lot harder than I thought. Once I had filled it halfway, I dug a hole and began planting my cacti. If you are planting a cactus, then make sure you use a spoon to push it down or some gardening gloves or thick gloves so that they don't prick you. To make sure it was sturdy, I then added some more soil around the base of the cactus so that it wouldn't fall over. Someone with a dog or a cat will know what I mean when I say that animals sometimes go on a mad run or a loony run and my dog decided to go on one as I was filming this video but on the floor where he was rolling around so say hello to Charlie everybody. <laughs> I'm pretty sure cacti is the plural use of cactus, and if it's not then this whole video is a disaster. But finally I added rocks and pebbles to give it a more naturistic effect, and I have seen this all over my Tumblr newsfeed, and keep in mind that this might not be Tumblr for everyone, but everyone's newsfeed is different on Tumblr, so if you have a problem with it then just get out of here. Thinking about you and me when you told me that I was your treasure I knew we could do anything Don't tell a single soul We'll catch a train and go Just light it up and glow oh, This is our fantasy Tonight we're breaking free We'll be the you and me oh, Sorry I keep interrupting all the music beat drops with my voiceovers but we gotta get on to the next DIY which is a Scrabble placemat all you'll need is a hot glue gun and some scrubble pieces. I have a very fierce hot glue gun as it is pink. And if you want your placemat to be square, then you will need four words with four letters in them or five words with five letters in them. I chose to use four words with four letters in them and I chose to use the words love, live, sing and chic. 
And once you have arranged them accordingly, you can then use your hot glue gun or super glue to just glue them all together and it makes a pretty nice placemat. I do hope that you have enjoyed all of today's DIY ideas and I also hope that you will go and check out Tasmin's channel too. As for my videos, that is all for today. Have a beautiful day and don't forget to stay positive. Bye!